welcome back everybody to the next episode here in our Dark Souls Remastered playthrough. Um, I believe I said in the last episode that we were going to go down to the demon ruins, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to go there. Um, at least not just yet. So I planned on actually going back to the Undead Asylum actually in this episode, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take the elevator up and then jump down onto this broken, uh, <laughs> broken structure. Um, man, sometimes I do miss this. Uh, I usually just like roll forward to land on that pillar, so hopefully I can just do that here. There we go. Okay. And we need to get a key first before we can actually get back there, so we'll loot this. The Undead Asylum F2 uh, West Key. And then... Well, I wonder if I can make that jump. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, right, so then we're just basically going to have to go do the same thing again. We'll ride up the elevator, we'll get off on that broken structure, and then we'll be able to keep going up. Keep going up that, like, that tower there. As you can see, or not, maybe from this, <laughs> from this angle. The crow, the crow that took us is, uh, here is actually sitting on top, on top of this. <laughs> and the way that we're going to be able to get back to the asylum, it says curl up like a ball. So we're going to act like one of its eggs. Where's the bird? I thought it was around here. I hear it. But you just need to stay like this just for a little bit until a cutscene. There we go. Crow, raven, I'm not quite sure what this bird is, but... Here we go! <laughs> fix my mic real quick. And there you go. So now we are back at the Northern Undead Asylum. So things are going to be, you can see like there's that nest that's at the, uh, slightly below the tip of the, the claymore that I'm holding. Uh, so Snuggly the Crow, that's where you can definitely go back and, you know, start trading some of those items. But things are going to be a little bit different from when we were last here. There's going to be new enemies, um, as well as there's a, a unique item that I wanted to get. And we're actually going to have to go back all the way to the original cell that we started the game in to get the item. But, um, let's be careful right here. There should be, there, there. I was like, there should be some more hollows around here. Where's the other one? There he is. Come here, you. Okay. Now, uh... Uh, it's going to probably take a lot of you by surprise. Um, let me tape off some of this stuff. Uh, but let's buff our weapon real quick. And then if you run too far into the center here, the ground's actually going to fall out from the, the, uh, underneath you like that. And there's a boss. It, it's essentially like the, the demon that we fought at the beginning of the game. Um, but it has like a staff. Oh, shoot. And it does magic attacks. <laughs> oh, I'm getting lucky here. Oh, she butt slammed. Yeah, let's quick take him out, though. Alright, let's back up. He's gonna do the explosion.
Ooh, okay. Uh, I thought I was gonna get hit by that. more hits. Yes. <laughs> uh, totally worth it. All right, totally worth it. Maybe not. But, all right, cool. So we got a humanity, a homeward bone, twenty thousand souls, in addition to a titanite slab. So titanite slab is like the ultimate upgrade uh, that you need for at least like a just normal upgrade line for weapons. It'll um, max out a weapon upgrade line at plus 15 which is awesome but uh here so down that hallway is actually where we started and when we first started we could have looked to the right and we would have seen that demon walking around here um but let's go back to the cell because that has the item we need but now as you can see the uh <laughs> the asylum is now crawling with these black knights like anybody else they can be parried parried and taken down and we got a red titanite chunk let's get this the peculiar doll so we're gonna need that item actually to go into a secret area uh within an orlando it'll help us actually get into uh <laughs> into a painting area so that's one of the items that i wanted to pick up If you remember, oh shit! Oh, I didn't think he'd be there. Um, now, if you remember, um, the undead, the knight that helped us, he gave us the Estus flask. He also like let us out of our cell. He has become hollow, and now he's here, and he is he's hostile. Uh, so we need to, unfortunately, we need to kill this guy, despite him helping us in the beginning. shield and let's take a look at it. So the crest shield gives us 100% um, physical uh, reduction and then good for magic. It's got 80% magic reduction. So that's pretty good for that. But all right, he's down. So it took me by surprise. I didn't think he'd be that close. Uh, so that's the one one of the other enemies that we had to take out unfortunately. But there should be another I think there should be another black knight around here. I think it's actually down here at the bottom of this hallway. Oh shit. I thought he was gonna be the other way. I thought he was gonna be the other way. Kill him in one swing. I thought I had to do two. All right, so that's the second one down. Last thing I want to do while we're here is because we picked up that key. Oh man, that boulder's still there. Well, this episode's going well. We clearly don't remember half this stuff. Um, but there's only one other thing that I wanted to get over here, and it's because we picked up the Undead Asylum, the F2 key. We need that key. Unless we're shooting. Um, we 
need that key to open up this. That door right there. It's going to allow us to get this. The rusted iron ring. So that key let us get that. And that uh, that ring is actually going to be really useful for down like in an oil pit or like a swamp area where your movement is restricted. So the best use for it, I've always just gone down to uh, like Sen's Fortress, down where the Demon Titanite um, are. And uh, just because you can't, like, it doesn't allow you to do anything besides walk when you're down, like, in that oil slick area. So when you have that ring on, you'll be able to actually, like, run normally. Um, it just makes, you know, being able to maneuver, and uh, at least to me, it helps with survivability, especially, like, in that, uh, in that terrain. Just because, you, I, at least in my opinion, you need to be mobile to uh, have a better chance at defeating the Demon Titanite. But... All right, so we took out the Undead Asylum. We got the Peculiar Doll, uh, took out that stray demon, got the Titanite Slab. I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. It's probably going to be the shortest episode I think I'm going to do in this series. So um, I guess I guess I should go down and do, like I said, the, the Demon Ruins. I guess that's going to have to be my next, uh, my next destination. If not, I guess I'll have to go back to Anor Orlando and make use of that peculiar doll. So I guess I'll just see you all in the next episode. All right, take care, friends. Bye-bye.